I've been happy and I've been lonely and I've been surrounded by people but at the same time not fully feeling satisfied and I am finally happy in my degree yet still not completely happy in London and life is a constant turmoil of events of ups and downs and it feels like it's never ending ever since shaving my head I've felt so much more vulnerable and it's not ever something that I thought would be the case, but here I am. There's nothing to hide my facial expressions. They're just out there. I'm feeling a little nervous today because so many things are happening. I am starting a new unit today at school. I am meeting my tutors for this unit that I don't know who they're gonna be. I have a new schedule. I think I need to have a different perspective on it. We'll see how this goes. Also, it's six degrees outside. Gotta wear a sweater. <laughs> Recently, I've been doing a lot of photography. It is something that I've always been interested in, but have only allowed myself to explore, I would say, mid-2023. And I have just been dumbfounded by how much I enjoy it and relish in it. But anyway, I started two new units this week, and this was just a quick introduction that we had to do via Padlet where we had to share an image that resonated with us and why it was important to us. Something I love about photography is the versatility that it offers. I've explored editorial, I've explored documentary, and today I'm exploring product photography. The fact that under one discipline there are so many genres and different umbrellas that can be covered is such a way for one to explore where their potential lies and i feel like i've learned so much about myself not only capturing what needs to be captured but also just being on set being in an environment that is collaborative where everyone is working together in order to produce a final result and also the post-production having a visual aid to help me understand my practice help me understand where i'm going with the work that I produce. I just got back from school. I had quite a quite a lengthy day today. Started yet another unit, which I didn't know, but it's going to influence what I'm gonna write my dissertation about in my third year of university, which is insane because I am still in foundation in my head. And here I am thinking about what I'm gonna write my dissertation for third year on, crazy. Also my hair is growing in. I don't know if you can tell, look at that. <laughs> it's so silly, but it's kind of itchy in my ears, it's kind of bothering me, but I can't really do anything about it. And this lighting is horrific. I don't know why I'm sitting here. I get homesick wherever I go, whether that's Canada, whether that's France, whether that's London, I always have something to miss in the place that I'm not. But I'm here and I'm sharing it with you and I'm 20 years old. I've got a life to figure out. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't think anyone knows. Even my 60 year old mother doesn't know what she wants to do with her life. So, I don't think it really ever gets easy. I've been really into knitting recently. If you watched past vlogs, I really enjoy crocheting. I used to knit when I was younger, like eight, nine, because I learned it at summer camp. Then I really got into crocheting for years and I only did crochet and then when I tried to go back to knitting, it just didn't work. My muscle memory just wasn't there anymore and I just couldn't hold the needles right and it was frustrating me so I gave up on that. And then recently my sister got into knitting and watching her made me want to learn again and so I've been learning again and it's been going great. It inspired me to maybe make a video of easy ways to be creative. Like it doesn't have to be complicated. I feel like we all have creativity innate in us as humans and 
Knitting is a very simple way of being creative without needing necessarily creativity and imagination. You just kind of do it. And there are other things too that I've been thinking about, but I'm thinking I might just make a video to share with you all my ideas, especially because when you're stuck in a rut, doing the things that you usually do as a creative person usually don't work in order to push you out of your creative block. And so having these little ideas can be very valuable to have in your pocket. And I think most of you guys that watch me are probably creative souls um, and I'd love to share. So let me know if that would be of interest to you. <laughs> 2023 was a year, it was a year of, of change, of growth, of turmoil, of decision making. It was, it was all of that in a whole year and it was a lot. I think it was all catching up to me. I think the thrill of living in a new place was catching up to me, but I'm still here. Time has gone quick. Right now, I, I feel ready to come back and kind of share everything that's been happening. My life, what it looks like, because I feel like it looks very different from what it looked like before, and I'm just really excited. <laughs>